Audi RS6 C6. I think it's not necessary to say that this is a fantastic car. But you know what? It is a fucking fantastic high performance car which is a great daily driver. Of course, only if you have enough money for the fuel and the regular maintenance. The 5 liter V10 engine with two turbochargers is, of course, awesome, but not only that. It's also surprisingly reliable enough. It can look like that this is a completely trouble free car, which is not true, obviously, but this RS6 is extremely reliable compared to the predecessor, the C5 model, which has some problems with the engine, suspension and even the transmission. But anyway, let's check out this newer, more reliable RS6. This car was made from 2008 to 2010. The interior build quality is flawless. The sport seats are comfortable, the ergonomics is great and the dashboard is inclined towards the driver so everything is as it should be. On the other side the multimedia system is quite outdated compared to the successor but that's obvious. The quality of the paint job is good and the car was available in various mainly dark colors. But you can find cars in red, light grey or yellow and there is also that special blue color in which the car looks simply fantastic. There also shouldn't be rust on the body panels, so the corrosion protection is good. As I said, this is a quite reliable car, so the common problems which are not related to the engine or transmission are the same as in the regular Audi A6 C6. So there can be problem with the MMI navigation system DVD unit, electronic parking brake, keyless entry, door locks, window regulators and the rear window wiper washer can leak. This is a high performance and a very heavy saloon or estate car, so it has to be equipped with very good suspension and brakes. I will talk about the brakes later, first the suspension. So this RS6 is standardly equipped with the DRC dynamic ride control. This suspension uses oil pressure to automatically stiffen the shock absorbers while cornering. Then there is the optional Sport Suspension Plus. With this improved version of the DRC, you can electronically adjust the shock absorbers from Comfort to Dynamic or Sport mode. The suspension is overall much more reliable than in the predecessor, however it can leak. So check it properly before buying, because it's obviously expensive to replace. The standard equipment is really big, so there is basically everything you need like leather seats, great electrically adjustable front sport seats, heated front and back seats, navigation system, dual zone automatic climate control or the Bose sound system. On the other side the optional equipment included for example the electrically adjustable steering column, double glazed windows, solar sunroof, keyless entry, rear parking camera, adaptive cruise control, special leather color combinations with leather dashboard, or the carbon ceramic brakes. By the way, the carbon ceramic brakes have obviously better braking performance than the regular steel brakes and they should withstand 300,000 km. But in some cases they can be easily worn out even after 100,000 km, mainly if the car was used more often on the racetrack. The biggest disadvantage of these special brakes is the price. So if you want to replace them then you will need around 15,000 euro. The another thing is that these carbon ceramic brakes can crack or chip quite easily, in this case you have to obviously replace them. Because of the high price, lots of people replace these special brakes with the conventional steel brakes. On the other side, you should keep in mind that the regular brakes can burn out pretty fast. The price for this brand new RS6 in 2008 was around 100,000 euro. So the regular maintenance of this car is simply expensive. And let's not talk about the fuel consumption which is obviously really high. There are also other expensive things like tires, brakes, all the spare parts and basically any repair. Also the important thing is to choose a car which is in possibly the best condition and which has the best regular maintenance history. 
The price for this Audi starts at 22,500 euro for the cheapest one in Germany and it goes up until 69,980 euro for a low mileage Audi RS6 Avant Plus. This high performance car was available with only the 5 liter V10 petrol engine. This engine is overall surprisingly reliable, however there can be often oil or coolant leak. So for example there is often oil leak where the gearbox meets the engine. Some of the leaks are quite easy to fix, but sometimes the whole engine has to come out to fix those leaks. The good thing is that the carbon buildup in this engine is minimal. However, after 150,000 km there will be some carbon buildup, but still not an unhealthy or a big amount. You have to change the oil in the engine after 8,000 km. The engines are equipped with timing chain, which is usually alright. This car can be equipped with only the 6-speed Tiptronic automatic gearbox which is much more reliable than in the predecessor. Some say that this gearbox is designed to handle even 1000 Nm of torque, which is quite impressive. So this transmission is usually reliable, however it can have sometimes electronic or mechanic problems, which means that you should check it properly before buying. It should change gears very fast and smoothly without some kind of a strange noise and hesitation. I recommend to change the oil in the automatic gearbox every 50,000 km if you are using the car for normal everyday driving. But the very best is to change it after 30,000 km, mainly if you want to use the car more often on the racetrack or if the car has some kind of a performance upgrade. Before buying check the suspension parts and all the electronics. The car should ride quietly, so it shouldn't make rattling, squeaking or humming noises from the suspension. Also check for uneven tire wear, which can be the sign of incorrect wheel alignment or worn suspension parts. Check the exterior of the car for various paint defects or rust, which can be the sign of the resprayed body. Also check the gaps between the body panels, they have to be even on the left and on the right side too. I hope that this information are helpful enough. If you have some questions or if you have personal experience with this car, then write it into comments. Also, if you liked the video, don't forget to like or subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.